Welcome to Home Studying Through Our Eyes. Today we're going to talk about how we laid out the plans to do our yurt footings um, that hold up the deck. So we are in the middle of our grid. We made one string all the way up to make a parallel line. Made one on the other end, one on both ends. And then we just made sure to measure exactly how the instructions told us. And we used a carpenter square as well as a level and squared these off to make sure that the boards to the floor deck are going to be running parallel as well as being right on with the holes. So we had to dig 30 holes. Um, at first we were trying to go through and figure out how we were going to get these holes done. We thought of a backhoe, we thought of a bobcat, we thought of a hand auger. Uh, we also wanted to stick with our doing it all by ourselves and without much machinery. So we decided to go with the good old shovel, pick, um, pry bar, wheelbarrow. Uh, we found that we probably would have ran into problems doing it with the auger because back here in the woods we had roots and rocks and uh, all sorts of bumps to run into. Uh, you really need good decent soil. I mean you could still run an auger without it, without good decent soil, but it's kind of a pain. So our next step is to go through and measure and make sure all of our holes are below uh, frost line. This is going to be built by code um, for our state of New York. Uh, what we're going to do is uh, measure them with a measuring tape and then after we find out that they're good enough, our next step is to mix concrete and use uh, cardboard columns, place them down in the hole and those will be the footings. So uh, keep posted, check back often. Um, we got a lot more to do, but we've done a lot so far. We've got about 10 more holes to dig. So uh, we'll be back with you in a little while. Subscribe, like, share, and uh, if you have any comments or advice, feel free to post below in the comment section. Take care. Peace.